Hi, my name is Nelson Bonilla with Legacy Outdoor Living, and we are on day five of Mylan and Mernali's project. I thought it would be a good idea to give you a five-day update as to how things are going. Uh, if you remember when I introduced the project, uh, the backyard was sloping, had all this vegetation. We have no area for the kids to come out and play in. Now, fast forward five days. The modular block is in. You see our French drain. We see our landscape fabric. Uh, let's see if I can get you a shot of that rock blend modular block. We got a cap that's going on here. Um, so now that the wall is up, we were able to start backfilling and leveling off the backyard. We're gonna finish it, remember, with 550 square feet of synthetic lawn. Now, the cool upgrade to that is Molly and Mernali decided that they wanted uh, the area to be a little bit softer, right? The kid, at some point, we're gonna have a play set here. The kids are gonna be jumping and running, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install underneath our synthetic turf a one-inch play pad. So that's gonna help absorb a lot more of the impact from the kids running, jumping off of the swings, off of the fork that's going to be uh, included into the playset. So we're really excited about that. We'll never see it, but we'll actually feel a literal spring in our step. Really like that. Um, of course, the the concrete patio. We're going to uh, have a, a crab orchard uh, flagstone inlay on top of that. And the side yard, nothing really to see here, but we, as you can see, everything begins with proper drainage. So we're, we're, we're burying all of our downspouts, transferring everything underground, releasing it responsibly in our storm drain. Then we'll have our flagstone walkway, our, our stone stairs. Um, day five, things are going really well. Not too many delays um, but I think we're gonna be here maybe another seven or ten days so I will give everyone an update as soon as I can